Sometimes in programming, you'll need to have a repeated action. And to do that, you're going to need loops. In Java, the main two types of loops are called for loops and while loops. And they're implemented as follows. To write a for loop, the syntax is like this. Now I'm going to explain what each part of, it, part of this is. So, the loop has three sections. The first section runs when, once we enter the loop. That gives the baseline for the index of the loop. The section, second section is the gatekeeper, right here. If it returns true, we run the statements in the loop. If it returns false, we exit the loop and move on to whatever the next part of the program is. The third section is the final statement that will run every time the loop runs. So in the case we have just seen, the loop will run three times. Here's the order of the commands. <clears throat> First it, check, it sets the integer i to zero. Then it checks if i is less than three. Then upon completion of the loop, it adds one to i. So i will run three times, and then once it checks if it's less than three, and if it's not less than three, the loop will stop. So let's try this. And as you'll see, it printed three times. Now, another type of extremely extremely useful loop in Java is the while, while loop. They can basically be used interchangeably, but sometimes it's easier to use one over the other. So a while loop's syntax is like this. And by the way, this is how you use comments in Java. Two backslashes and then whatever you want to comment. That doesn't get run by the computer. That's just for the programmer to see. Oh, and also, I think I may have forgotten to mention earlier, if you have an integer or any type of uh, variable and you use the plus plus operator on it, that increases its value by one. So this is, we're going to do the same thing we just did, but with a while loop. And now, because it's different than a for loop in that you don't declare all the index stuff in the constructor here, you have to add to i, or whatever you're using as the index, in this case I called it index, inside the loop itself. And as you'll see, it did the exact same thing as the last loop. So, in essence, those are all the types of loops you're going to need for the purposes of this course and most of Java. If you have any questions, as always, ask me in the comments. See you in the next video.